So today I have my April Brimbles box to share with you guys. I'm sure a lot of you know what this box is by now because I have been unboxing it for basically since the beginning. <laughs> I will leave some more information and links and stuff to where you can buy it below. So like always, I'm gonna go through the bag of stuff last and I'll show you the papers first. This is the cut apart for this month. So you can cut all of these up into separate journaling cards. On here, there is some decorative cards. There is one which says making plans. There's one which says my weekend is all booked. This one has the definition of a planner. This one says something amazing is going to happen today. Down here, here, this one says happiness is shopping for stationery, read books, drink tea, make plans, be happy. And on the back of that, it is blank. There's then two sheets of this design, which has some planners, it has some pens. And on the back, it just has some stripes. And then this one has a really pretty floral design on. And this is the same design that Anna has for the Planacon stuff. So if you're coming to Planacon, then you probably would have seen this design on the welcome pack. And on the back of this, there is a kind of dotty scribble design. This is the postcard for this month and it has the definition of a planner on and on the back there's a message from Anna. As always with this, if you do want to read you can pause the video now. So first of all there is a pack of embellishments and these ones are bows and of course they're in the colours which match everything else in the box. You do get quite a few in there which is really nice. We then have a little pack of tabs and I'm going to open these up to show you because there's a few different designs. So there's a few floral ones, there is some spotty ones with a little gap to write something. There's some more floral ones. And then there's these ones, which look like they've had paint or something smeared across them, which is a really nice effect. And you get two of each color of those, I think. Oh, there's three lilac ones. One of the floral designs has a section which is kind of blank so you can write something and the other one doesn't so it's just kind of a pattern tab. These can obviously be used to make dividers from but you can also use them a lot in journals to kind of tab certain pages or to just add something a bit extra to a page. We have this sheet of stickers which is the one that's kind of aimed more at planning but as always these can definitely be used elsewhere. There's then these stickers which have the little characters that Anna draws and then this one has a few bigger stickers on and there's also a load of words or hashtags at the bottom so we have hashtag planner hashtag planner nerd planner addict book nerd bookworm journal nerd i heart books i heart to plan so yeah there's a nice variety of stickers there which can be used in so many different ways definitely looking forward to using those i think i might have to save these to document planacon and then last of all there are these clear stamps these are the perfect size to put on the little tabs so we have january february march April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then we have scribbles, musings, priorities, this week, diary, shopping list, recipes, timetable, financial, address book, Christmas, travel, events, inspiration, notes, goals, today, journal, menu plan, fitness, home, purchases, contacts, holiday, packing, social media, ideas to do this month, planner, lists, weight loss, work, pets, projects, birthdays, vacation, wedding, and spiritual. So yeah, there's a massive range of words on there that can be used for so many different things. The font style that's used is really nice as well. So this was everything that came in the April Brimbles box. If you did miss out on getting your hands on this box, then don't worry because Anna does have all of these things available in her shop to buy separately. So I'll also leave a link to her shop below as well. As always with these videos, if you do have any questions, then be sure to let me know below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in this month's box. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.